Hi, welcome to Bugs of Records, new arrivals for the week of July 14th. I'm Bug, this is my record store in East Windsor, Connecticut. Please subscribe, please pass this along. So, we went to Brimfield and we uploaded a video about it. It was absolutely horrible. If you've seen the video, you know what I mean. If you haven't seen it, it's just kind of documents how bad it was. I ended up losing probably four to five hundred dollars on the experiment, which wasn't even that great of an experiment. Uh, the video my 12 year old son made and he did a really good job, uh, but we have to reload it because he spelled sea bugs wrong. So kind of a big deal. Uh, but so if you get two notifications, that's why. Anyway, I'm going to start with the ones that I bought at Brimfield. I spent a uh, about $150, which is exactly about how much we made after spending five or $600. Um, okay, so, you know, a lot of these are, I need them, but they're, they're kind of common, but you know, it's good. Uh, Madonna, we will be probably 15, 16. Tapestry, always need tapestry. I think I'm out right now, I think we're around 15. Haven't had this in a while. Shaka Khan. Actually, I, I really like that. I love the song. The um, I Feel For You, the Prince song. I, I think it might be the best remake ever remade. <laughs> Anyways, um, that'll be about 13 for that. Van Morrison, what's this called? Common, common one. I've never seen this one before. So not really sure. I'm doing this video pretty raw. Um, because right now it's Thursday probably getting close to noon so I'm trying to push these to get everything out uh, I got two rumors because you can never say no to rumors so these will be 38 I don't have any now so they'll probably go pretty quickly cars greatest hits always goes quickly it's 18 uh, Van Halen can't say no to a nice first Van Halen It'll be 28 for that the Empire Strikes Back the Adventures of Luke Skywalker. I haven't heard this yet. I do want to listen to it. Uh, I, you know, there, there's a few different albums like this. Um, so I'm not sure. I assume it's uh, just dialogue. Sometimes they redub the dialogue. So I'm not really sure. But I think we'll probably be about 30 bucks for that. Tom Waits for an affair. Very low. I don't, don't think I have any Tom Waits. So needed that probably somewhere around 30. Famous Monsters Speak. I have had this before. Can't resist anything Halloween. Uh, probably about 15 for that. And it will end with two new issues. Newer issues. I, I don't know exactly what year these are, but they're certainly newer. Uh, Green Day, probably about 30. And Purple Rain with a nice shiny purple record and a poster in this. So it'll probably be about 32. Okay, most of the rest I'm gonna show you. I had a lady call me saying she had a pretty big um, storage full of records that were her father's. And we're talking about 10,000 or so. Now, I thought she wanted to sell them all. So I was interested. I wasn't overly interested because I didn't know what was there. But when I got there, she said I wasn't the first person to come through and people are just making piles and taking what they want or, you know, buying what they want. But it's tricky for a couple of reasons. One, it was very hot. Two, it was, it was dark. So you can't really see the condition. And three, the thing that really makes it tough. I had no idea. I was making a pile and she was out walking her dog. And I had no idea what kind of money we were talking. Uh, but it did end up being a very good deal. I got about 50 and I gave her $100. And some really good stuff, some kind of basic stuff. But I'm just going to show you all of it. I'll go through it kind of quickly. Um, and I kind of, most of it was a lot of show tunes, Barbara Streisand. So we went with my daughter and 
probably a little more than an hour. We went through most of it. Some of it we couldn't even get to, but you know, most of it wasn't anything we want, but I'll show you what I picked out and I'm going to have to clean everything. So it's take a little bit of time. So Temptations, the anthology, probably be about 18. Um, DNC Sinatra, I think I have one of these, but I love Nancy Sinatra. <laughs> uh, 15, I can turn it, I can turn I can Tina Turner, about 15. Bob Seeger is usually nine or so. Uh, Van Morrison, TB Sheets. Never saw this one before. It's probably about 18 mark. I never saw this foreigner. Um, I'm assuming this is late 80s. And it has, it includes Say You Will, Heart Turns to Stone, and Can't Wait. Maybe I know Say You Will, if it's the one I'm thinking of, yeah. Um, and it's sealed, so kind of cool, probably, I don't know, 14. Uh, Skinner, Street Survivors, usually around 15. Amy Grant, I need to look this up, but I'm guessing about 10 ish. Uh, Super Tramp. I always talk about this. I'm just moving on from that one. 18 bucks. Nine tonight. Seeger will be about 15. Stand. Slice and Family Stone. I think around 15. Uh, Diana Ross in the Supremes and the Temptations on Broadway. It's kind of cool. I haven't seen that. Probably 15 ish. The Best of the Doors. 15 ish. The Supremes. I hear a symphony. She's about nine. Uh, Diana Ross and Supremes Anthology, I think around 18. Diana Ross and Join the Temptations and the Supremes. I don't know why she'd be joining the Supremes, but whatever. Um, I were usually nine for that. The Mamas and the Papas. The Papas and the Mamas. Usually nine or ten. Uh, Diana Ross and the Supremes Greatest Hits. Double, probably 12 to 15. Okay, we got Jackie Wilson's story. Double, probably about probably 18 or so. This is interesting. Uh, this is Green River Credence. But this, I believe, is from Taiwan. Uh, you know, obviously, I can't read that. But usually when you get these flimsy sleeves it's Taiwanese so I'll go 25. Ah, Simon and Garfunkel's Greatest Hits 15 Four Seasons Christmas Album. Christmas albums with you know known artists always sell so it'll be about nine. Uh, the Birds will probably be 14 maybe. Uh, Anthology, Diana Ross and the Springs, might be the second one, whatever I said before. Sonny and Cher in Good Times. You know, I, I, I have one of these, I didn't realize I had one of these, and it just, it looked like it would be really valuable, it's not. It might have 12 on it. Okay, uh, okay, so the rest are the gold mines, because everything else, we really had to look for these. Um, but then there was one box of all Beatles, all in beautiful condition. I guess I'm not all, some of them I didn't take. So. Let's start with a couple solo things. We got George Harrison, Cloud Nine. Love this album. I think 12-ish. And John Lennon, Mind Games. Um, these, you know, actually for the price, I gotta look these up because these are something different. You can just feel the sleeves are, you know, not the regular cardboard we're used to. So they're, I don't know where they're from. Um, might be UK. If they're just normal, they're around 12. If there's something else, we'll figure it out. Uh, this is just a normal George Harrison. I think they're about nine. Okay, and the rest is Beatles. So let's see. I'm gonna go quick through these. Um, and they're all gonna be 25 to 35. But I think most people know 
exactly what they are, so I don't need to be saying the name of the albums. And there were also a lot of doubles. So I'm just putting a single one out at a time, and I'll leave some others for a rainy day. But you can see, you know, th this was a great, great box. Let me just check. I don't think the White Album has any posters or anything. No, it doesn't. So obviously this one's more, I think, without posters and without the number. You know, the number means first or second pressing if the serial number is on there. Uh, but it's not, so probably about 45 of it. Um, no, it's not a Butcher Album. I certainly checked. Okay, and the last one I'm going to show you for the Beatles is super, 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 duper cool. Um, so it's Magical Mystery Tour with a pretty yellow vinyl and Parlophone. This was, <laughs> this was made in 1978. It's the UK. They only made it in the UK. And it's very rare. Very, actually, I should say pretty rare. Um, as far as rare albums go. Uh, it does have the book in it, and I think we're going to have about 80 bucks on it. And I'm going to finish with one more. That was it from... That was pretty good for Hunter Box. That's what I spent there. Um, the last one I'm going to show you came in, and he was just selling one album, and it's very rare for me to buy one album, but I couldn't resist this. This is uh, Ozzy Osbourne, Randy Rhodes, Tribute, uh, Japanese pressing. I believe it's Japanese. Uh, I, I found one selling on eBay. It took me a while to find it, too. I don't know why. Uh, but it was well over 100 bucks. So I'm going to be at 95 for this. Uh, it's just, in my opinion, super cool. Uh, so interesting anyway uh, i paid 25 bucks for it so uh <laughs> that's about it uh please check out that other video to see our tragic brimfield experiment <laughs> and uh thanks for watching hope to see you in here